Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'm going to uh, give you a little tip today, uh, what I do sometimes, and I did this with all my acrylic uh, abstract paintings back home. On every single one, I did this. But I did these the other day, they're not uploaded yet, and Phil will upload them soon, but what I did, if you don't wanna finger pop the sides, and you don't like the side, like this, if you don't like it, I mean, you can keep it like this, but if you don't like it, what I do is I paint all my sides black. And I think it really makes the top of it stand out. And what I do is, um, you have to be pretty careful with it when you start doing it, because um, you don't want to go over the top. So I take an angled brush, dip it into my paint, and I just do this. I go right down on it. You don't want to go back and forth. You just want to keep going up and down, up and down, up and down. But you, like I said, you have to be careful so that you don't go on the top, over the top of it. It takes a little practice, but once you have it down pat, it's real easy. So that's my tip if you don't want to finger pop. I think it looks really nice on these. Yeah. Well, sometimes the, the sides with drippings look nice and they kind of add to the to the painting, but other times it's uh, you want to bring the actual front of the painting um, out, and I think that does help. And I always use um, my golden carbon black. You can tell I use a lot of this because this is the size that I use. And I'm going to show you something else that is finally finished. I finally resined it, and that was the cheese board. And I stained it. Oh, turn it my way a little more. Bye. Okay, there we go. I stained it, and I put the polyurethane on it to seal it. It looks really nice. So this is all ready to go as well. It turned out really, really pretty. And everything that you see is for sale, so you yeah. can, um, you know, contact me through email or shoot me a, a private message. But anyways, today I'm going to do a swipe, and this is a 12 by 16 canvas. I have a lot of colors going on here. I have my metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. I have my light blue Violet by Amsterdam, my Yellow Light by Amsterdam, my Metallic Orange by Artist Loft, then I have my Metallic Green by Artist Loft, my Red Violet by Amsterdam, my Titanium White by Amsterdam. I'm going to throw in a splash of copper by Deco Art, Metallic Copper, and I'm going to swipe it with my uh, Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. And we're going to see what happens here. Um, I have a lot of colors going on, but it should be pretty colorful. Plus, thank you, Jilly Kuby, for um, telling us about your Swifty Swiper. And I decided to make one today. So thanks to Jilly. And she said, everybody try it, make one and try it. So thanks to her for doing that. And I'm also going to try my little heat gun. And if that doesn't work, I have my blowtorch. And we're not gonna let that in Phil's hands because he doesn't know how to turn it off. So, we'll get started. Oh, I better get my gloves on because this could be a little messy. Oh, and I do have, um, my paints are made up with the 70-30, which is 70 of the glue and 70, uh, 30 of the water. And then I have two drops of the Helmer's silicone in each one of them, except my um, swiping color, which is the Prussian blue. Okay, so here we go. Got a lot of paint here, but that's okay. I was gonna do a little bit bigger canvas, but I, I wasn't in the mood to really make any more paint. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty good sized canvas, though. So I thought, oh, this is just going to be plenty. 
because I've had these paints around for a little while, so I wanted to use them up. Oh. And then I can make new ones. I haven't been to Michael's because nobody's going out and I'm getting stir crazy. So I'm trying to think of what, <laughs> Phil and I are trying to think of what to do here besides videos. Well, we go for walks around the neighborhood, but that gets a little old too, but at least it gets us out and about. And well, so. at least we're not by people to get this virus because now they said it's going to be here for, what, 12 to 18 well, months? I don't know. You hear so many but... different things on the internet and TV, and I, I don't know what's right and what's wrong. All I know is, you know, you try to try be safe and then... You know, whatever happens, happens, I guess, but... I was going to go today <laughs> to Sam, so they're opening up at 9 o'clock, and I'm sure some of these business people mm -hmm. are having a fit, mm -hmm. not getting in, but the line was all the way down to Walmart, and I mean, it's pretty far. And it's like I said to Phil, uh, and he goes, uh-uh, no, we're not going, or I don't go in there, so... Turned around and came back home. That was our drive. The dog got her drive in the car. I don't think you're going to be able to put all that. If you put all this paint on there, you're going to have, I think. Okay, I'll just much. add a couple more. Just well, a bright it's colors. It's up to you, but I, no, I'm, I'm looking just going to put some bright how colors. How much paint you have in those cups, and the thing's going to be floating away. It is. Uh, it could be. Well, then we float. Bye bye. So long. Farewell. Right, Phil. Don't you want to be a little colorful? Well, I do, but I, I mean, <laughs> there's only so much paint that the thing can probably take. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just going to add a tad of this. And just a tad of the white, and then we'll be done. <sighs> Did you put that, what was that, copper in it? No. Nope. Well, I like some of that. <laughs> okay. First, I tell you not to put too much oh, paint on. Okay. Now I'm telling you to put paint on. Oh, God. Please well, help I like, me. I like the copper better than the... You know, this is my unsolicited advice. I haven't given you any of that lately. Please, so, please, Calgon, <laughs> take me away. We've been together in this house way too long <laughs> without getting out. <laughs> well... Uh, I think it's going to uh, be getting on my nerves. Oh, why don't you just do this, Phil? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You can't please them. You can't live with them. You can't live without them. That's for darn sure. Okay, now I'm going to tip. I hope I don't get paint on my Which, Are you going to swipe the, the that way or that way? I think I'm going to go this way and then your way. Okay, all right. How does that sound? Sounds as good as any. Because you know what, when I'm halfway in this, let's not change our mind, Phil. Like you're doing. Well, I- Oh, you think you I, got enough paint I here. I didn't clarify myself. I meant you could put all the colors on, but you don't have to put the whole cup on. Oh, now we're clarifying ourselves. After the fact. <laughs> okay, Phil. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. I mean, you know I'm such an expert in this stuff. <laughs> yeah, you are, aren't you? An expert at bad advice and not knowing what you're doing. Well, at least I'm good at something. Well, you're good at video editing. But you don't see me putting my nose in that with you. That's true. I should stay out of it, but I can't. No, you can't. You never will, and you can't. Okay, I'm going to put a little white down here. More paint, Phil. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to swipe it. We're going to put a little bit more paint right there, Phil. <laughs> what do you think of that? 
Whatever, whatever you want to do is fine with me. <laughs> See how I said that with such enthusiasm? Mm hmm Yep, I got it. I got it. That's pretty cool. These colors look pretty cool. That's right. I'm glad you, you know, you told me to do that. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to put my thin line of my Prussian blue. Okay. Okay, Jilly, here we go. I hope this Swifty Swiper <laughs> works. Okay. Oh, it works really nice. Oh, it does, doesn't it? You can see I'm shaking. <laughs> Not really. Oh, that does work really nice, doesn't it? You know, it's amazing. You barely have to touch this. Well, I think that's the nice thing about that. You can control it yeah, real easy. Yeah, really can. I'm going to try this heat wand on this side and see what happens. Well, you don't want to swipe the no, whole not thing the, not a, No, I okay. want to do this. All right. Oh. oh how, how warm is it? I don't know. I got my gloves on. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's well, it just, doesn't burn your paint. No. Which it's is it's nice. warm, but it's not hot. I Let's try the other speed. Okay. Well, let me, well, let me feel. Now that is that's warmer. Of course, it's not anywhere near as warm as it parts, but I think it, as you say, it doesn't burn the paint, and it does a great job. I can smell it. Can you smell it? Woo! Yeah, it. Uh, Smells like it's going to start on fire. <laughs> fire! Wow. I'll tell you, it really brings up those cells. Yes. Holy cow. Woo, baby. Okay. Good thing you put a lot of paint on that painting. <laughs> yes, it is, Bill. You notice I'm just kind of like whispering so you can't hear me? I don't think they want to hear the words that you're saying about me anyways. I never say anything bad about you. Plus, what's so funny is, I've been married to you for so long. I, pff, do I listen to you? Heck no. Well... Wow, the swiper works really good. It is. I love this it's, thing. It's, 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 it's the, on a, a pellet swifty, knife. Yeah. The Swifty Swiper. And you just... Got the idea from Jilly. And you put it on a pallet knife. Pallet knife with some tape. Away piece you go. of plastic. 
As long as it stays on. It stays on pretty good. Yeah. I taped it on really good. It's a cell mania, man. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is pretty darn cool. Yeah, you got some great reactions here with all the different color paints. Creating a whole variety of colored cells, which is nice. I am really excited with this. This is really, really awesome. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do later with this. I might do some experimenting but I like it right now. So at this point, I think I'm gonna to have to leave it for a little while, because yeah, I, I think it's think pretty I'd cool. Yeah, I too much with it. And Man, all those yeah. colors came up. It's really yeah. pretty. It, yeah. Phil, you should be in seventh heaven with this. I am. You are the cell man. I mean, it's just color after color. And I'll tell you, this uh, heat wand works pretty darn good. You don't need the torch and you won't burn your your paintings which is nice now i also did get um i got this because if this is an ice called uh the golden isolation coat and you can put this on your paintings before you varnish and you also can put this on your paintings before you resin and it's not supposed to leave you know the marks of of the oil so I haven't tried that yet. Um, they're not quite dry yet, though. So I'm going to try give this a try, and I'm going to let everybody know if this works. Because on the small one here, I'm going to um, I'm going to resin it after. And what I did with um, these colors, I got the new Arteza yeah, no. um, paints. You got to face it more this way. The uh, I outlined some of these with the new Arteza paints. And that's in um, like a stick. Oh, and the, you did the yellow and the blues? The reds, the, the yellow, reds. Okay. Uh, orange. So you embellished it with that. Right. And I'll show you uh, what I did Thank embellish you. it with. It's um, These are called the Arteza markers. Oh. And they're the acrylic markers by Arteza. Okay. And that's what I embellished that with. So it, it really was a lot of fun. But um, okay, everybody, if you would like to see our videos when Phil posts them, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up, share it if you want, and we'd love for you to join our family. So until the next time, bye.